How's it going everybody? It's Brian. I'm not going to be too long-winded in this video, but uh, I got some cards off of a TCG player. Uh, I want to show you what I got. Um, honestly, this was kind of like opening a booster pack because I, I didn't even remember what I'd ordered. It came and I was like, oh, I, I wonder what's inside. So I just figured I'd go by, go through and kind of see what, what was going on here. Olamog's Crusher. Focus. 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 You're not focusing. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, Olamog's Crusher. I think, I think I was planning on building like a, a budget Tron or something like that, but you know, this, this is an incredibly cheap card, so I just got a couple copies of it. Got Annihilator 2, Attacks Each Turn to Fable, 8 8 for 8. Pretty, pretty simple common, but you know, just got a nice big one to play around with. I think that was, oh, other one's in the back. Uh, and then Faithless Looting. Faithless, there we go. Uh, I had two copies, and I don't know what happened to one of them. I'm pretty sure my dog ate it, and that's that's not a joke. I, I think that might have happened. Um, so it's probably out in the yard somewhere. But yeah, oh yeah, but just a, just a classic. You know, one mana, draw two cards, discard two cards, got flashback. Totally OP. Melek, is it Paragon? I think it's Melek or Melek. Uh, six mana, two, four. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery card. And then when you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your library, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. So pretty nice. I think I was going to actually make it my commander. Um, I don't know if that's a thing, but it seemed like a cool, cool one to play around with. So I got that. And then this is, this is just like a good, I don't know, I don't know if you call it just a utility card, just a uncommon, got a lot of, got a lot of keywords. Uh, three mana, come on, focus, focus. Do as I command. There we go. Uh, three mana, one three, death touch, life link, and whenever it enters the battlefield or, de or deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, then discard a card. Which I, I love that effect. I think it's a, I think it's a looting, just like faithless looting, I guess. Or is that rummaging? I have a hard time keeping all these keywords apart. Oh wait, I actually got four whole logs. Which makes sense, I guess. Let's see what this one is. Ah, oh, Artrine's Vessel. One mana for a 1-1 one, one with life link. Come on. Hmm? It's probably because I'm moving it around too much. I just... <laughs> Come on. There we go. Uh, when Artrine's Vessel enters the battlefield, if entered from your graveyard or you cast it from your graveyard, exile it. If you do, create a 5 5 black demon creature token with flying. So, not a bad deal. I think I just had a demon token and I didn't have any reason to use it or no cards that would use it. So, just when I was looking through a random gallery Google image, I was like, oh, wait, that'll work. Uh, giant, I think I got, it's a teamer giants. I think I was gonna, uh, I was gonna do this for everyone. Uh, seven mana for an eight, eight. An additional cost to cast this spell, reveal a giant card from your hand or pay two. Uh, whenever it attacks, you may cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. And all these, um, I think most of these are just commons and uncommons. And then the two, three rares. Um, but yeah, this was like less than five dollars. I try to be a, a savvy consumer as I possibly can. But uh, and then the last one is I got a couple copies of Voracious Great Shark. Five mana for a five four. Anything with flash, it is awesome. Anything you can flash in on your opponent's turn, or because of the Great Shark's ability, counter target artifact or creature spell. It's a good flash in during combat, flash it in in response to anything. Just, just a nice, just a nice card. It's not, a, it's no Archangel Avacyn, I know, but, um, and you know, you got to leave five mana open, but you know, it's good, not too bad. 
And that, so that was it for that. But I, I did want to mention one more thing. The second box arrived. So this is the second box of the Itch That Shall Not Be Named um, set. And I'm going to be opening the overpowered set that I mentioned. Um, I'm going to crack into this and I'm going to open it pretty soon. So I'll have that video up uh, when I have some free time. All right. That's it for me. All right. Thank you, guys.